To understand how the express lanes are being constructed between Whipple Avenue in Redwood City and the Interstate 380 interchange, we need to first show you what auxiliary lanes are. Let's begin by looking at a stretch of freeway without auxiliary lanes to see what happens without them. As we see in this graphic, cars merge directly from an on-ramp into the outside general purpose lane. They also exit directly from this outside general purpose lane onto their off-ramps. Without the presence of an auxiliary lane, drivers create congestion as they enter the freeway by forcing those vehicles already in the general purpose lane to change speeds to make room for the entering vehicle. Vehicles exiting the freeway without the extra lane provided by an auxiliary lane create congestion in the outside general purpose lane as they slow down to safely get off the freeway. In order to fix this conflict, traffic engineers have created and implemented auxiliary lanes, which are direct ramp-to-ramp -ramp connections that provide a merging area for cars to enter and exit the freeway. Auxiliary lanes make it easier for vehicles to enter and exit the freeway from the rightmost general purpose lane, which also reduces congestion on the freeway. Auxiliary lanes make this possible by providing drivers room to accelerate before entering the general purpose lane. And for vehicles exiting the freeway, a lane in which to slow down outside of the rightmost general purpose lane is provided by an auxiliary lane. Such auxiliary lanes exist between successive on and off ramps, as shown here in the new orange section. Cars first enter the auxiliary lane, adjust their speed, and then merge safely into the rightmost general purpose lane. Exiting vehicles can move out of the rightmost general purpose lane before slowing down to leave the freeway. Throughout the San Mateo 101 corridor, there are a significant number of existing auxiliary lanes. These existing auxiliary lanes provide an opportunity to create an additional general purpose lane by connecting them through each interchange, as shown here in the purple sections. The project will first convert the existing northbound and southbound auxiliary lanes into new general purpose lanes. This makes it possible to then convert the leftmost general purpose lane into an express lane, as shown here in dark gray. The result is an increase from four to five lanes with four general purpose lanes and one express lane throughout the corridor north of Whipple Avenue. Then, to address the loss of the auxiliary lanes, the project will create new auxiliary lanes as shown here in blue. The result will be improved traffic flow, including express lanes with reliable travel times to encourage carpooling and bus trips.